Welcome back to today's video episode on chemistry made easy with bright edu. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on the IOPAC rules for naming alkanes. And we already know that alkanes are a group of compounds that are single bonded. What does it mean? It means that the bond forming the compound basically are all single bonds. And also alkanes are sp3 hybridized now moving further there are some basic rules that must be noted when naming an alkane now the first of them we'll be discussing is identification so identify the longest okay identify the longest continuous chain the longest continuous chain now let's check this compound carefully to identify the longest continuous chain. Now, when we count from here to here, let's see how many carbons we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, that, that number is large. So basically, we are having seven carbons. But let's check another direction. Let's see if we get longer chains. So let's say we are counting like this. So one, two, three, three, three is small. So basically, it's not compared to seven. Seven is higher. So let's put that in mind. So let's check another um, chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. We've gotten seven before. So seven is better. And let's check like this. So basically, let's do it. Let's check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see now we're having seven here. We're counted like this. And also seven we're counted like this. Now, it must be noted, when naming organic compounds, the longest chain is not necessarily the horizontal chain basically it can be from any direction now you can see here we got seven carbons were counted horizontally and we got seven uh, carbons were counted from this direction so basically let's bring them down so let's rewrite it like for this now it becomes something like ch3 bonding to ch bonding to ch2 bonding to ch2 bonding to ch c H3, CH2, CH3. Okay, so basically you can see here that, okay, and CH3. So when we counted like this, we got uh, a long chain, okay, seven carbons like this. And also we got another of the longest chain to be from this direction. Okay, so you can see here, when we counted like this, we got seven carbons. When we counted like this, we got seven carbons. So which of them should we take to be the longest chain? You can take any of them, okay? Any of them serves for the correct answer. So basically, let's just go for the horizontal. But not all the time, the horizontal is the longest chain. But in this case, let's just go for the horizontal. So basically, we just clean this. Now, this is how we determine or identify the longest continuous chain by checking from each direction to know the, the chain that gives you the higher number of carbon. So you can see here, we've gotten seven carbon. So the next of them, we should take that off, is naming the longest chain. So let's name the longest chain. Naming the longest chain. Or naming the longest continuous chain. Now, you can see here that we're having seven carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, what becomes the name of this longest continuous chain? Since it's an alkane, and we know seven already is, seven already is eight. So basically, since it's an alkane, we just bring the last names, which is A-N-E, so it becomes heptane. So basically, heptane is the longest continuous chain. So the next of the step we do is to number the continuous chain. Let's number the continuous chain. Let's number the longest continuous chain rather. Now, numbering of the continuous chain, we number the continuous chain so as to get lower numbers for our substituent. Now, what do I mean? Now, if we, are, if we say let's number from this direction, so let's do that. So we make this our carbon, carbon one. We make this carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, carbon six, carbon seven. 
So basically, we're having seven couple. That's why it's a tail and it's an alkane. So now you know you can see we have a different substituent in this compound. This is a substituent and this is another substituent. Now this substituent is called methyl. Okay, okay, methyl. That's C H three. This substituent is called methyl. So what number will be allocated? So basically, this substituent in this compound. So let's count from the other direction to see because the same of counting is to get a lower number for our substituent. So here becomes carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, carbon six, and carbon seven. So let's check from this direction to see what number fell under the substituent. Now, when we counted from this direction, you can see at carbon two we had a substituent. At carbon two we had a substituent. So we had two methyl. Comma, okay, at carbon 5, we had a substituent as 5 methyl still. So let's check from the direction to see the number for the substituent. So basically, let me count from here. You can see at carbon 3, we are having a substituent. And at carbon 6, we are having a substituent. So how do we not determine which direction to go for? We go for the, 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 the one that gives us a lower number. So basically, let's add this. So 2 plus 5, that is 7. 3 plus 6, that is 9. So which of them is best for we to count? We go for the lowest, the, the substituent number that gives us a lower number. So this is better than counting or than taking this, okay, than counting from this direction. So we eliminate this. So 7 is already the best value. So basically, we go from this direction. So we just clean all of this. So basically, you can see we've numbered the longest continuous chain. And the numbering gave us it starts from this direction. Now you can see this uh, substance called methyl, and this is just called methyl. So what happens next is to now like write the the substance uh, number. So basically here we have a two methyl, and the other carbon here gave us five methyl. So what happens next? We bring them together, so it becomes two five. Because since they are metal and metal, so we can just bring them together and basically it becomes 2, 5, di, metal, 2, 5, di, metal. Because basically you can see there are two metal and one is at common 2 and the other is at common 5, that's 2, 5, di, metal. So we now, the next step is to add the, the prefixes to the parent name. So we add the prefixes to the parent name. So you add the prefix. These are the prefix. To the parent name. Okay, to the parent name. So what happens next is it becomes 2 5 di metal. Well, the parent name now heptane. So this is the name of this compound. So I believe now you now understand how to name compounds pertaining to alkane. You follow this step and you get any of the answers. So I'll be putting a question here so you practice with that question and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now, this is the question you will be solving and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now, recall I gave you some rules that must be noted when naming organic compound. And basically, the first of them is to identify the longest continuous chain. So you look at this compound and try and identify the longest continuous chain. After identifying the longest continuous chain, you what? You name the longest continuous chain. After naming the longest continuous chain, you number the no longest continuous chain. And after numbering, you now add the, the substituent to the parent name you've named the longest continuous chain with. So basically, this is how it is done. So when you solve, you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now, if you like this video, do well to subscribe to this channel and share my videos with your friends. Thank you very much and God bless you all.